and welcome back to my hydroponics cage. This is a super mini little system, but in this video, I'm gonna show you how I did all this with just normal items you can buy from the hardware and eBay. Super, super cheap. We have upgraded what we had here before, which you'll see in the video, and just made it really, really simplified. So you can grow simple stuff like strawberries and tomatoes and dripping water everywhere. <laughs> at home and you don't have to water them. That is the main thing. So hydroponics is nice and nicey easy because you have your hydroponic solution pumping up. So you don't have to water stuff. It is great. This is a solar system. So there's a solar panel there, a solar pump there. If you want any information in this video about that part of it, I do have links at the end of this video that shows how I rigged it all up. Here there's Benji, hello Benji. Don't eat any of those plants. And yes, let's get started and show you how to do this. It's super, super easy and tons of fun. You're gonna need a drill and maybe some zip ties and you're gonna need that cement stuff for your piping and a small dog to go past. Hello, where are you going? These are the hydro clay pebble things you can get from hardware places. You can buy them in bulk cheaper from hydroponic shops and all that. Elbows, PVC pipe. These little guys here are just mesh pots you can get from eBay and stuff like that, hydroponic shops, all that. You just want the pot big enough for whatever you're gonna grow in it, and you don't want it to touch the bottom of your pipe. So you want it sort of just hovering above the bottom because you don't want it continuously in the water and you want enough area for the water to go through. So the bigger the pipe, the better. Don't even ask me what size pipe that is, it's pipe-sized pipe. Apart from that, Spray paint or paint, because you want to paint this, otherwise the sun's going to break it down over time. So if you paint it, you're going to get a few more years out of it. A drill, ideally not that drill bit, but it's an old glass drilling bit, which will still work on plastic perfectly fine. That's pretty much the basics of what we've got. Pipe, joining bits, paint, stuff, and pots. Okay, so we're going to jump to the cage where we're going to assemble this, vaguely figure out how we're going to do it, and assemble. And welcome back to the hydroponic cage, yes. Okay, so we're going to attach this system pretty much here. I've moved a whole lot of plants and stuff that's coming to the end of their life. Yes, that's what happens to plants. And I'm thinking on this, and these are all hydroponic buckets as well. Check out that, there was a lot of roots in there. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna do a pipe here and then trickle back into this. Yeah, I may replace that. I'm thinking I'm gonna replace that because that was just for seedlings and it's a little bit pointless. So the pipe that is connecting to that, which is just pumping up with that solar panel up there, I'm just gonna rig up here. So I think it'll go up here, down, along, and then back into my little reservoir. That is the idea. So I'm going to not measure anything. I'm going to put some pipes in here, cut some pipes and jump to that bit. And that is the overall design. Super easy. Four little joiny bits like what are they? Elbows and a little regulator bit to adjust the flow of the water. So you don't have to stuff around with gluing pipes and all that sort of stuff. So what we're gonna do next is take this out of here. I'm gonna use some silicon to just join the seals on the inside. That way I can pull it apart if I ever wanna use the pipes in the next year or two. Then we're gonna drill some holes and we're gonna paint it. woo -ah. Well, that's much better, isn't it? Okay, so I've got rid of the black thing that was there. The white pipes are now black, as I said they would be. And I've also drilled the holes. That is one of the strawberry plants that was in that system. I've just put the cup inside the bigger cup and cut a hole so I didn't disturb the roots or anything like that. But those roots will be sitting continuously in the water. So the solar pump obviously turns off at night because there is no sun with the solar panel up there. So there'll be enough water just sitting in here doing its thing until it comes on the next day. That is pretty much it. I have a little tiny pipe in there, pumping water in there. It is trickling through, there it goes, decent amount of water, all the way along there. And then my dodgy little converter thing from big pipe to small pipe, just goes into the same pipe that was there before. And then that goes all the way under here, into there, which is my barrel, hoorah. 
which has got hydroponic solution in it. And technically the solution in there is for the tomatoes, not the strawberries, but the strawberries are coping. I think I'll probably change it a little bit and maybe move the strawberries into the other strawberry system I have. But for now, they are in this system because I probably don't want a heap of tomatoes all growing here. I had to trim a lot of the leaves down because we were getting a bloody mold fungusy thing because of the humidity. I haven't installed my fan, so I will be doing that super, super soon. My purple beans have all pretty much been harvested. They harvested. 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 I'll probably have to pull that down soon. I have thinned my carrots out. Yes, way too many carrots in a pot, but look, look. Baby carrots sleeping. Yeah, apart from that, I think now that I've trimmed all these tomatoes down and these are just in your standard bucket hydroponics. Yeah, lots of roots. Oh, let me move that leaf out the way. They should be going good. Yes, but that is pretty much it. It is a simple, simple way of doing it. I think I need to do it on a huge scale though, because this is just a simple little system for, how many pots have I even got there? One, two, three, four, five, 10, 11, 11 pots, not very much at all. And then these Beto buckets are hooked up to the same system. Tomatoes are developing. Yeah, look, we have tomatoes, hurrah. It's not hard to grow tomatoes, but you know, when you grow them like this, you don't have to water them, which is a complete bonus if you don't want to do anything. And if you have a cage, you don't have to worry about grasshoppers eating them before you eat them <laughs> or all the other things. But yeah, I think I will do this on a bigger system. I think I need another cage, maybe a greenhouse, I'm not entirely sure. And then I can just do huge rows of them and just go full on crazy because I'd like to go full on crazy with this. It's kind of fun, but that is where we are. That is the basics of the system. If you've got any questions, comment down below. We're learning as we're going, but yeah, ideally bigger pipe again, I think would be fine, but there's no way these roots are going to clog this pipe. There's a decent amount of roots already. And obviously they're gonna get bigger. The tomatoes might be an issue with their roots because there is a fair lot of roots in there. But we'll see. If it clogs, we'll know because our hydroponic solution will disappear. <laughs> While we're here though, I should show you this super, super cool caladium. You can't eat that, but look how cool that is. Yeah, if you want some awesome, awesome caladiums, go to Tem Templex Nursery on Bow Desert Road in Brisbane. They have tons of awesome, awesome stuff, but how cool is that? I know. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, click the thumbs up so I know. If you've got any questions or comments, comment down below, and we'll see you in the next fun video.